Man in a shop wearing a white coat and wellies. Not anymore. Meet Mitch Tonks and John Sussman. Both are from different sides of the world and both redefine the role of the humble fishmonger. They live a rock star lifestyle as they jet around the world sourcing weird, wonderful and downright dangerous seafood for the megastar chefs of world cuisine. Why? Because for chefs, world produces the new rock and roll. Between them, they've taken the role of Fishmonger Global, and this will be a global series following these boys as they try to supply the impossible to the world's greatest chefs, who demand the freshest, finest and hardest to catch creatures known to fishermen. So do you reckon fish are rock stars in their own right, mate? They are. They are the rock stars of ingredients. <laughs> You know, when you look at the planet like this, John, you just see how much water there is and how much fish there is. And I'll tell you what, I think seafood is going global, don't you? It absolutely is, and I think that's what this show's all going to be about. It's, it's like, you know, I'm going to show you around the Southern Hemisphere, and why don't you show me around the Northern Hemisphere? You know, look at that. Look at that. Wow, that's awesome, isn't it? Let's smell that. Yeah, right. Look, you know, I'm a fishmonger in the Southern Hemisphere, and you're a fishmonger in the Northern Hemisphere. It it's like, what better two blokes to do this sort of thing? It's my life, I absolutely adore it. I spend my time out with fishermen, I spend my Me time too. in restaurants. I'm kind of over there. Until I met you in Brussels last year, I could not believe <laughs> that there was anybody else in the world that had the same madness and this kind of same drive for well, seafood. I can't believe that. That's just so... That's amazing. The role of a fishmonger has changed so dramatically in the last 20 years. I mean, you know, in my part of the world, to be a fishmonger meant that you were wet, cold, smelly and slimy, and you were probably exactly, a lying, yeah. cheating thief. Yeah. But these days, you know, the job is so much different. What it's like up here? I mean, Well, straw boaters, white jackets, you know, <laughs> guys really bored. I mean, the whole era of the fishmonger's gone. And, yeah. you know, I think that, you know, fish is the last wild hunted food. Yeah, is. yeah. Aquaculture's massive. We have got knowledge that these chefs don't have. I mean, you know, fish is the rock star ingredient, you know, John? Totally. But Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a fish. You know, people in, in professional kitchens, they need this information of us. Well, it's us, really you know? important because I think the contemporary chef is looking less and less towards all of the, uh, the culinary artistry and looking back to produce. They're looking at produce as being the next frontier in cooking. Yeah, we're going to take a mackerel yeah. and uh, don't rev on it. So it's all back to Mitch's for a good old fashioned cook up with Fishworks head chef Matt. Dover sole, this is, this is Dover sole. These guys are going to go mad for it. It's our best fish, I think, next to turbot. And all the way from down Can under are a couple of John's meat. best suppliers, Light Aussie juice. fishermen Fergie yeah. and Pugsy, who brought a sample of their catch from down under. Fantastic Pacific lobster and massive prawns. Simplicity is a really difficult concept for the average chef to understand, honestly. You know, there's a fair chance that this might challenge the bacon sarni for breakfast, okay? It's ready to eat. That's it. He's definitely going to get a cut. Loser. He's definitely going to get a cut of the action later. <laughs> oh, this is our north, south, southern hemisphere uh, fish stew. Fusion. Fusion. No, this is what. Oh, God, that's delicious. Yeah, you just get the flavour, don't you? Like the shell of that lobster. Try this. Else. So get ready for rocking recipes cooked by superstar chefs made with fantastic wild ingredients from the most beautiful and dangerous places on earth. This is just divine. This is how this is how Fuck. I can eat every day, mate.